Man, this place is crazy. Hey, welcome back, uh, all you car enthusiasts. It's a uh, blistering 17 degrees out here. I probably should have put some sunscreen on, you know, but I'll risk it. At least the uh, at least the mosquitoes will be down for today. So uh, just out here taking a little walk here down by the river. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the videos I've put out so far. This one here is the uh, one that I mentioned several times. The Lincoln, Nebraska Speedway Motors Museum. So uh, this one I just kept in one part. I didn't split it like the other one. So this video will show uh, the museum all the stuff that it has to offer, all the NASCAR and uh, all the experimental engines and all the rare stuff. There's a whole room just dedicated for like flathead Ford uh, V8 stuff. It's amazing the stuff that they have in there. You have to check out the wall of all the, the intakes that they have. So if you're liking this stuff so far, go ahead and do the whole subscribe and uh, the like and uh, smash the snowman down there. Or, whatever you got to do down there to get notified and keep uh keep watching this stuff that i'm putting out like i said before i got lots of videos that are coming out yeah i'll flip the camera around here and i'll show you where it's at it's not too bad so yeah just walking along this trail here that goes parallel with the river it's usually a beach right over there but you know january we're going to go ahead and cover that all up with that white fluffy stuff and it'll be that way for another couple months or so once all this white fluffy stuff melts i'll be uh getting out some of my personal stuff knocking the cobwebs off of them and get those v8s rumping again i got uh i got one car that's been stored away for probably a good 15 15 years if not more so I'm going to try to get that thing back going again. I mean, it's got a rebuilt motor in it with like a thousand miles on it. And it's been parked for like 15 years. You know, that that's a little ridiculous. So I'm going to try to get that going again. But so, yeah, in this video, there's going to be a lot of cool old school stuff. Dragsters. Got uh, one of Don Garlitz dragsters in there. Got uh, a couple other ones. That are pretty cool. A lot of street rods, a lot of, a lot of crazy engine combinations with blowers and you know Pontiac nail heads and straight six and just all kinds of cool stuff. You know, not a not a single LS to be seen. I can tell you that. So that's good. We see enough of those things at car shows, don't we? Let's see some cool stuff. Let's see some old Buicks and. Pontiacs and Oldsmobile and all this stuff that you you don't see anymore. Everybody's throwing LS stuff and everything, this and that, and you know that's that's the easy way to do it. You know, the, it's got good horsepower and all that, but where's the? There's no cool factor. You know, kind of the cool stuff with the four twos and blowers and superchargers and hillborn injection and that's the stuff that draws crowds at car shows, you know. Before we went into the museum, we first did a quick stop at the uh, warehouse that they have there. Here's the front entrance to it. There isn't really a whole lot to show, wasn't much to record. Uh, this is looking through the window into their warehouse. You can see there's just racks and racks of stuff. and. You know, if you uh, ordered a Holly intake somewhere, it's uh, it's out there. So yeah, there's a little area that you just walk in the front door and uh, there's some guys uh, to the right of this behind a counter taking orders and phone calls and stuff like that. And this is just kind of a mural that was on the wall there in the, in the waiting room. Before you actually get into the museum, this little guy was uh, out in the parking lot right in front of the front door. When you first walk in, you're greeted with a uh, receptionist, and and this is their area with the merchandise. You buy hats and shirts and whatever there. 
And then uh, you go up a couple little steps here and then it just opens up to the whole museum. The first thing you see here is a 1935 uh, Miller Ford race car. So I wanted to pause the video right here and zoom in on this open part in the back of the seat and I'll show you why in a second. I thought the engine in this thing was uh, pretty interesting. It looks like a, a V8 flathead. It's got four two barrels on it. So this is why I wanted to show you the open part in the back of that seat. This is actually a two-seater and he wanted to make it very narrow so the passenger would actually put his left arm in that hole. Uh, the first floor here is all a lot of, uh, you know, older sprint cars and, uh, you know, roundy round stuff like that. A lot of engines and, and uh, whatnot. Little area off to the side. Loved seeing all these old photos. A lot of the stuff on the walls ex explained uh, what you were looking at and uh, how things were built and you know, the winnings of each car and, and how the motors were developed. This guy here, this is a massive beast right here. Look at that thing. Jeez, I wouldn't want to work on that. Look at how everything is so shiny and clean and just, you know, like I said, pristine. It's just, it's amazing. This here is like an exploded view of a V8. Looks like dual overhead cam. It's pretty interesting. This is back in the uh, main room on the first floor. You can't believe people raise some of these things. I mean, there's absolutely no safety on that whatsoever. I mean, if you rolled one of these things, you're uh, you're pretty much a goner. I mean, uh, you're James Dean style. You're gonna be uh, decapitated. But you know, that's how they did it. This blue one here looks a little bit more modern. You know, they all have that. Uh, Hillborn style fuel injection on it. Not exactly sure what all these engines are, but uh, it was uh, quite something to look at all of this, take this all in. Here's more of a more modern stuff here with the big wings. more oldies but goodies here. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this has got a Plymouth in it. Wow, that's interesting. It's running a Plymouth motor. It looks like it might be like almost an overhead cam or something, the way that valve cover looks. Oh, here it is right here out of the uh, sprint car. Wow, look at that. Those are some interesting heads right there. That's crazy. Here's your uh, typical small block Chevy here. As you can see in the background, it's just rows and rows of this stuff. This is just the uh, part of the first floor. There's another whole, another Gosh, I think it was two or three rooms on the first floor. Looks like this is a, uh, possibly a four cylinder. Looks like a four cylinder of some type. This is another room off to the side in the uh, first level. 
and it was it was set up pretty cool it had like these smaller little garages in in the background here older style gas pumps you can see over to the right there there's a uh, uh, racing suits um, all, all sorts of uh, old neon signs and uh, I believe the floor was like a brick too this had a lot of uh, engines on stand that you could really the guy could really sniff around on and, and take a really good look at what's going on here look at this old picture in the background here that's amazing And that's the type of suit they would wear there. I mean, there's not even much to their helmet. Wearing the goggles and... Their transmission looks like it's a foot long. These engines just had to be a beast for the weight. I mean, they look extremely heavy. All sorts of different designs. More decapitation uh, vehicles here. I like how these little garages are set up. They have stuff in the background. This looks like a uh, dual overhead cam of some sort. Mercedes Benz. Oh, that was another one of those Plymouth motors. The intake on that thing. It's almost a like Hemi style there. That was small, that's a small block Ford. Toyota. Here we got a turbocharger with us, Cosworth. Oldsmobile in the background there. Oberdorfer. Take to that thing. So I wanted to pause the video and take a look at this sign. It says Crowler Opposed V8. That's pretty cool. Dual overhead cam on each side. Got a couple uh, small block Chevy here. Uh, this first one is a twin turbo. I believe they're both uh, old school twin turbo small block Chevys. I mean, look at these intakes. Remember when I was at the museum, I had to go back and really get a good look at this guy here. This is a small block Chevy and it has like Hemi style heads on it. And you can pause the video here if you want and read this whole sign, but it, it uh, basically says Chevrolet teamed up with a place in England called Westlake and they made this conversion 1974 it has four valves per cylinder. Oh, this is really fine you know like the song okay never mind this isn't your uh, uh, typical 409 this is what they call a Z11 which Chevrolet did for a drag package uh, there were only uh, 57 of these made in uh, 1963 they actually had a uh, small machine shop there that we couldn't go into so uh, you had to stand in the hallway and and look through these large uh, picture windows and and this is the area off to the side of the machine shop there's stuff in here i've never seen before in my life i mean there's 
uh, you know, every make model at the engine that you can think of in here. And uh, this one off to the side here, um, down in the left corner there, I think this is a some sort of Mopar. Um, you can see it has like a dual distributor set up in the front, uh, twin superchargers on it. I mean, I've never seen anything like this before in my life. AJ Foyt's helmet, uh, the signature up on the top there. There's my guy, single overhead cam 427 Ford. How about a uh, old school uh, red ram? This is still on the first floor of the building. This is their Bonneville section. This was my highlight of the museum, 1948 Tucker. There was only 51 of these ever made. It's got the uh, opposed six cylinder in it. Uh, has three headlights with the center one that turns. Uh, for 1948, this car was uh, well ahead of its time. Independent uh, suspension, front and rear, collapsible steering wheel, uh, pop out. Uh, windshield on it uh, there's so many other things that I can't think of right now but uh, for 1948 this car was uh, ahead of its time for sure Check out the uh, Arden flathead uh, conversion on this. It almost looks like a little Hemi. And then of course it's got the blower on it with side draft carburetors. And that's a very cool setup right there. something I'd like to tell you guys about I've been doing for quite a while it's called inbox dollars it's a very simple site and I made hundreds of dollars from this site um, different things that you can do is surveys uh, off to the side you can see $75, $52 to do these surveys quick and easy easy money other things that you can do are games as you can see there's solitaire there's a monkey game um, Candy Jam, and you just play these games and uh, it, the site gives you money. Um, other things that you can do, there's offers, different content to do. The easiest thing to do is just open the emails that they send you through the site and they pay you just to open these, it's very simple. The rewards are awesome. There's all different kinds of rewards, GameStop, Home Depot, Lowell's, Nike, um, they're all e-cards, so this is a very simple site to do. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you use my referral, you automatically start with money in your account, and you'll be off and running. Have fun.
They even had one of Don Garlett's uh, Swamp Rat front engine dragsters there. Quick, can you figure out what this engine is? It has Leo Lyons head conversion on it. It's another small block Chevy. This one happens to be a 302 cubic inch. It has a Leo Lyons Hemi head conversion on it. The museum had a lot of famous cars from back in the 60s and 70s. Here's another one here, Dick Landy's. So this next little roadster is really interesting. It's a uh, started out as a 1924 Model T. Uh, it went 73 miles an hour in Bonneville, and it's a 45 cubic inch motor. I mean, I don't know if I would even go 20 miles an hour in this thing. Apparently, it was completely built with just $350. We are now up on the second floor and there were a lot more engines on display here. They had a whole area that was just dedicated to the flathead V8. And over here on the wall, you can see all these different factory and aftermarket flathead V8 intakes goes all the way down this wall. just so many beautiful uh, flatheads in this room it's just mind-blowing it's it's crazy how many different style heads there were before I came to this museum I knew about the Arden head conversion but there were so many more here that I've never heard of never seen before
This room had a lot of uh, interesting engines in it, I guess I would say. A lot of factory prototypes and uh, just rare, like one of a kind factory motors. This one in the front here is, is not a factory motor. Somebody just took two V8 Chevys and stuck them together. Imagine what the crank looks like in that thing. This next one I found very interesting. It was just some regular Joe made his own single overhead cam small block Chevy. And like the sign says, he was trying to do it for some kind of dirt track uh, circle racing. We've got another small block Chevy uh, Hemi head conversion here. Smokey Eunuch was involved in this one back in 1967 has single overhead cam Weber carburetors on it. And it uh, kind of resembles the Ford single overhead cam 427. There's that Westlake company again that we saw earlier, only this time it's a uh, Ford and it's a Y block. I would never have guessed that this is a Y block motor. This is one of two factory Ford Experimental 302s. This engine has a mechanical belt-driven fuel injection system that injects fuel directly into the combustion chamber. Also has coil for each spark plug. This engine was installed in 1980 Crown Victoria. Look at this thing. This is, uh, this is nuts has a coil for each spark plug and direct inj injection in 1980. Here's another experimental Ford motor. This time it's a 289. Back in 1968, there's only three of them made, only one left in existence, and it's at this museum. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more coming. A lot more car show stuff like this and uh, might be going to see some ice racing here pretty soon in February. We'll get some video of that, post it up. I've never been to anything like that before so that'll be something, something new for me. Hopefully new for you. Tune in, check it out, see what you think. So. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe, and uh, there'll be more coming.